everybody. It's Donna. We're back again for another couple of cards. Today I'm going to do a couple of cards that are um, birthday cards but masculine cards because I never seem to have enough masculine cards when it comes down to it. So the first one I'm going to make, I'm going to use the Cricut. So I'll get, I have already signed on and I will get us up there. So if you see my name is up here so it's already signed on. And I'm going to try to find a car and see if we can, I have an idea to say that, uh, I'm sorry, I clicked the wrong one. A classic kind of guy. So let's see if we can find a car that looks kind of like a classic car. Well, I like this one over here, and it's access, so it's free. So let's put that in. Okay, and I'm actually not going to change, I'm going to change it just to uh, insert a shape and a square. I'm going to change that square to white. Edit it by uh, unlocking this, and I'm going to make this 5.5 uh, inches wide. And actually, I think I'll make it, uh, I'll put this one 4.0. I'm going to make this 5.25 because there'll be a, one underneath it. Okay. And the reason I've done that, basically, is just so I can make the car the right size to fit on the uh, card. So I'll make, move it to the front. And keeping all of its locks locked so that it'll all move in perspective. I'm going to try to just fill up pretty good with this. And that looks pretty good. Alright, so another thing I want to put on is a little text on the front. And I think I will insert an image and ask for a banner. Because I'm going to ask the Cricut to print it for me. So it would be easier. But I want it to be kind of a straight banner. Because it's the words will be not be going up and down. Uh-huh. Well, I know there's one in here. Here it is. We use this one. There. Okay, but uh, what I'm going to do is ungroup this because I really don't need both parts of it. And we'll get rid of the blue part. And we'll just keep the beige part. Now I'm going to add some text. Happy birthday to a classic kind of guy. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to center it so that it's nice. Um, I'm going to change this to has a writing style over here. So I'm going to the Cricut write it for me. And then I'm just going to make it small enough. Well, first I have to make the banner small enough to get on the card. So let's do that. That's pretty. Whoop. And I'm not worried about placement because I'm going to, I'm not cutting out. I'm going to cut the white square out myself and I'll put it on there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So that's the right size. I'll move it off and I'll take this and put it on the top of it and get it to fit. And 
And that looks pretty good. I might go up just a hair. So there we go. Alright, so now I'm going to highlight both of these and under the layers I'm going to attach it. And that makes the words now attached to this and I can put it over here. Oops, I moved my little witch it. Yeah, so that'll look fine. All right, so let's go to the machine. We'll cut it out, and I'll meet you back to the table with all the pieces. Thanks. Hi, everybody. Here I am back at the desk, and uh, we're going to try to do this card. And all I can say is, whoa, Nelly, this looks like it's going to be a challenge to put together. Um, by making it small um, to fit on the card front, these pieces are really kind of tight to put together, but we're going to give it a try. We'll see how it works out together. I'm going to have to use, I think, um, a glue pen for a lot of this. I'm going to start by trying to put uh, these pieces together first and then attaching it all to the base, the black base. So I'm going to start with this yellow piece that goes on top of the gray piece. <clears throat> and hopefully, there we go. And this piece here, I think, is where it's going to be the most difficult to get together. But I think we'll have to put it together in... Um, little sections like we'll give it a try and see what happens I think this piece no it doesn't come out okay all right so we'll get the this on the gray that wheel that wheel that wheel and the little area there. Wow, that worked out okay. It wasn't too bad. Now the next piece, this little black piece, goes here and here. And you see you're going to have to make it bend up a little bit here. So we'll try that one. See, of course, this is smaller than Design Space originally pops it up. It does give you more area to work with if you're using... I'm going to start at the back here because I know this tail has to go by that tail. Get this running board area in. Let's see if I can get this tail up here. Oh, I think I might have got it. You can see a little bit of the yellow. Alright, so now let's just try to attach it to the black. Get a little bit more surface area to work with. Okay, not too bad. Kind of cute, actually. There is the tiniest piece here. Let's just see if I have my picker upper anywhere here. Yeah. This little piece is actually 
a running board. So what I'm going to do is put the glue on here and then attach this. Hopefully, if it gets off my fingers and onto the project, it'll be lovely. And I have one more little piece, and it's a little piece of gray to go on this headlight. Well, there you go. It's kind of cute. Okay, so the rest of the card, I thought it was going to be even more difficult than that. Not so bad. The rest of the card, I have a craft card stock. I'm going to use sort of a off beige type of mat. And let's see if we can glue that on. I have my Art glitter glue, a new bottle. <laughs> and the mat is cut at five and a quarter by four. No, I'm sorry. It, they're, they're cut just one eighth smaller so that I would have room to put the car on. Um, so that would be five one eighth smaller than the five and a half and one eighth smaller than the four and a quarter. Okay. Now I want to just bring this out a little bit our banner. So what I'm going to do is just attach it to some of the yellow and using scissors or you can use your Cutter. I'm just going to try to cut a small border. Around this. I think that looks better, brings out the brings out the words a little bit. Now what I'm going to take is excuse my reach. A brown marker, a nice dark brown one, I think, and we'll do some stitching.
You know, this uh, cartridge, uh, this one is from um, Art Deco. And I have one other cartridge that I actually own that I had uh, made a few items from. And it was called, and is called, the Robart cartridge. And I don't know how many of you may have used that cartridge. But I tell you what, when you make those robots, robots, sorry, they have a million and one pieces, none of them bigger than your little fingernail. So they're quite labor intensive to make, but they make a really cute card once they're done. Of course now, with Cricut Access, you probably could print it and then just cut around it and you wouldn't have to worry about it. So there you go. Um, I think what I might do is just do a little, let's see, maybe a little wink of Stella on this headlight, make it maybe look like a little more chrome look to it, and on my running board. And there you go. Very simple, but it's a classic kind of guy for a card for a classic kind of guy. So there you go. That's a Cricut uh, Access one. I have one more card I'm going to make for a masculine birthday card, and I'll be back in a little while to show you. This one is a stamped card. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.